And now that we've got competitive budgets, we have no more excuses and it's our time to start rebuilding powerful squads that can kick people's asses. Cool, thanks uh, everybody for coming. Um, this is gonna be the first of many what I have newly dubbed 30K meetings, meaning 30,000. Meaning a lot of times um, when you're approaching different aspects of business, or running an organization or whatever, you go from in the weeds, which is like building things like desks and tables, and you got the 30,000 square foot view, um, like out of an airplane where you can take a step back and take a look at the larger plan and you know everybody's been so incredibly busy moving here and setting up their own apartments and setting up the offices and setting up the player apartments and planes and flights and sometimes we can all get too into the weeds which is just part of our job that we need to do um, but we need to take steps back from time to time and just look at things from a different perspective and I guess first and foremost I just really wanted to thank everybody all you guys have you know, really been going above and beyond. You've been working 15 plus hours a day. You've been moving beds and mattresses and couches and flying all over and driving trucks from Florida and doing all these things that are typically not considered part of your job description. But I wanna just go over who we are and who we want to be. If it doesn't start here, it's not gonna get infused into the players and all the new people we're gonna hire as the organization expands. One of the things we're proudest of is our legacy. Nobody's done this really as long as we have, as well as we have. I think um, we're one of the few organizations that has enough pictures from a decade of tournaments that we can really decorate a gigantic office just with our pictures if we wanted to. You know, and a lot of really good people that have come through our organization and now work in elsewhere and have, have you know, done really well. So I think we need to be proud of that. There's an emotional attachment to how we go about this business. It's not just black and white. You know, we always try to say, you know, it's, it's only business, but at the end of the day, it's always a little more than business, right? Because we're passionate about what we're doing, all the way back to kicking chairs in 2003. I think this organization has always been known for how we operate professionally, and that has to do with integrity, that has to do with how we treat players, how we treat other teams, how we treat managers, how we treat press, how we conduct our affairs in the industry. But at its core, we are a competitive organization, like the Dallas Cowboys, you know, like the Sixers, like the Lakers. Yes, we market, and that is what we do, but we market because we're good at competing. Over the last couple of years, as, as our ability to compete and, and the number of trophies that we've brought home has declined due to the spiral, you know, skyrocketing cost of players and our inability to, to compete you know, for the best player contracts, we've lost much of that power. Everybody here knows that. Even with our investment, I still want to have a startup mentality where we take one plus one and we get three. Like, I never want to sit back like some of these organizations are cushy and fat, be like, oh, we've got some money now, so we'll just spend our way around problems or we'll just throw money at problems rather than finding creative intelligent, hardworking ways to solve things. I mean, I think you hit a lot of the big things here. Um, the biggest thing that I want to add is just communication. Everybody at this table knows that uh, the biggest mistakes we're ever going to make are going to be miscommunication. None of us is stupid. We all have experience. We're all intelligent. But when we're not talking enough, we're not taking our time to make sure that we're talking and that we're on the same page, that's when we're going to make mistakes. That's when we're gonna make waste money, that's when we're gonna lose out on opportunities, and that's where we're gonna get in trouble. Gus, does anyone have any other ideas? Um, because that's another thing I want in this organization. Like, when I've made a decision, the topic is closed, but I try to be an open-minded leader and, and hear devil's advocacy. Like, we can't just be fanboys and, and yes-men. Um, as employees, there's always a fine line because if you get too argumentative, people above you just get irritated. But I want to always do my best to hear alternate views so we've covered every angle of a decision to make sure we're not making mistakes. We're, I want to up our content across the board. And one of the things, account, uh, complexity or 
Cowboys content guy came to me the other day. He's like, we have a podcast studio. We want you guys to use it. I was like, what a killer idea. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know if it'd be a video or a podcast series where people could call in and they have questions about things, you know, like, you know, how do I get my aim better? Or mm -hmm. trying to find a team or... Um, how do I get started, you know, Collins, you know, mm -hmm. talk with, you know, it's like a podcast. But it has to be consistent. I don't want to do any show unless we discover something drastically wrong with it. I don't want to start a show and have it run less than, I don't know, a year. Um, we have to be consistent with content because there's so much noise out there. Quite often, good content can take a long time to get a traction and a follow-up. Yeah, uh, I, I just wanted to add this part of what I'm going to be shooting for too is content on CS side, and it goes with uh, what you're talking about is about being transparent. Is I think everybody loves like a good winning reaction. It's not fake, so we definitely need to make sure our camera guys are there. Uh, but at the same time, um, I think giving them that losing reaction where people are heated, maybe you know saying some things about the match. Like I think that's the type of transparency that will attract people. Um, so moving on, I want to talk about. Um, games, um, since we operate in video games, we need a general idea of where we would like to go. Um, not franchise games, just different umbrella games. We've got Dota right now, we've got Hearthstone and Gwent, um, we have Counter-Strike right now, we have Call of Duty yet unannounced. Um, so we're also looking at Rocket League, and Kyle's been doing a lot of homework on, in talking to them. We're looking at PUBG, PUBG's really up in the air. No one really knows what the hell is going to happen with that. And Fortnite's starting to steal a lot of its thunder. Like I said, we're, talk we're looking at Clash Royale and Arena of Valor. Um, well, mainly Clash uh, from our side. So I just want a 30,000 foot view um, for a minute on, on some of these games because we need to expand our divisions and we need to kind of be on the same page of what we're thinking with uh, our games. I very much think Rainbow Six Siege has potential too. Very, very much. Oh, my son is so freaking good. It's, 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 it's becoming like it's de developing quick. and growing really yeah. fast. It's been a game that's what? been out for a while, but they've been increasing. It, it's almost as diverse as Dota, as complex based on like the size of this game. No, it's a it's a cool game. Street Fighter was always part of our plans, but right now I think we've kind of nixed that budget in favor of some other games. Yeah, um, I'd love to be in Street Fighter, Tekken, Injustice, Smash Brothers. Um, and then just a couple real kind of lower the ground updates. Um, headquarter updates, we have come to terms with a company called iCrave that is gonna be designing at our office. They designed the Cowboys Club that most of you have seen. Yes. They are top shelf. Um, and um, it's a lot of money, but we're gonna have an incredible looking office. We might want more conversations about what we want that to look like. And then we're hiring architects and they want to have this thing built out six to nine months. Um, let's go over the star. Hey guys, thanks for watching POV. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you get alerted every time that we release our videos and we'll take you behind the scenes here at Complexity Gaming. And don't forget, hit that like button.